they had referees come in to try to help the Eagles understand this new helmet rule, where if you're an offensive player, a running back, you can be flagged for using your helmet as a weapon. According to the video, it's a foul if a player lowers his head to initiate and make contact with his helmet against an opponent. To be ejected, a player has to lower his helmet to establish a linear body posture prior to in initiating and making contact with the helmet. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, come on here. So I, I guess what they're saying is you can't launch yourself. The, the linear body. God, why does the NFL do this? I just put it in simple terms. Less language, the better. Because we're going to add to this. We always add, like the catch roll and surviving the ground and all that nonsense. Then they went back and made it simpler. So here we go. A player needs to have an unobstructed path to his opponent, and the contact has to be clearly avoidable in the sense that the player delivering the blow had other options. Isn't it tough enough on these referees? Who is monitoring this? It's tough for the players as well because players don't think. They're instinctive. They react. And now you're going, wait a minute, my helmet, wait, and then they're going to get blown up. Yeah, Paul. If you're a 5'11 safety or cornerback and Rob Gronkowski is coming at you and you lower your head and try to tackle him at the knees and your helmet makes contact with his knees, is that a penalty? So if you lower yourself and go low on Gronk, which is the best way I'm guessing to tackle him, and your helmet makes contact with his knees, no, that wouldn't be a foul here? I don't think so. It seems to me like it might be. Well, are you, are you going for his knees? Well, that's then it's intent. Where, but hitting someone in the knees is not illegal. A, tackle, a knee tackle is not illegal yet. Yeah. So, But if your helmet hits Gronk in the knees, you launch yourself towards his legs to take him out. I wonder if that's a foul. This is a nightmare. It, it really is. This is a nightmare waiting to happen. Because you're, now, now I, have to, I have to interpret intent here. It's already hard. It's so quick. It's so fast. And these guys have a hard enough job. Unless there's somebody up above who is going to be able to monitor this. That'd be the only way I'd be in favor of this. I can't ask these officials in real time to do this. It might be one of those, we're going to check this. Somebody upstairs is, is looking at this. Or you have the central office, the home office, that's going to look at this and say, we want to we want to look at the, hold on, we want to look at this play again. Okay, don't make the officials on the field do this. You can't do it. Yeah, Fritzy. And at what point do you worry about, you know, adding all these rules could end up uh, being more injuries because it's like you said, it happens so quickly. The fact that you're trying to avoid and follow some specific rules that are made, you're going to end up getting even more hurt than what the rule was initially intended for. You're asking guys to think, and, and it's so hard for the defensive players as it is. And if I'm a running back, Walton, Walter Payton would have a hard time in today's game because he lowered his helmet constantly. He he initiated contact. Earl Campbell, they initiated contact. I just don't know how you're going to police this. Yeah, McLovin. But back in the day, guys ran differently. They ran upright because people didn't dive at their knees. Now you have like a 180-pound guy trying to tackle Gronk, and there's only one way to do that is to go low with your helmet. So I think that's part of what they're getting at too. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't totally understand it either. But there's a lot of launching. Isn't that how you tackle? Kind yeah. of. We've talked about that. No one arm tackles. Anymore. Look at Earl Thomas's highlight reel. Tell me, tell me how many times you see him actually tackle somebody using his arms. Now, was it different back in the day? I th I read that it was. Well, they weren't blowing people up. That 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 was not an expression. You you tackled people. Now it's you you just launch yourself. You you want to be a human missile here. Because you have a chance of dislodging the ball. And I mean, it's a great defensive move. It's just they want to get rid of it. They want to take it out of the game. You could blow somebody up and make the highlights. Maybe make an NFL video on great hits. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.